My name is Mayana and today I'm going to do a video that is kind of going around on booktube. So it started with Haley from Haley and Bookland and it's basically like going to see your highest rated books on Goodreads and then basically saying like if they were actually like you know books that you consider like favorite. Basically it's going on Goodreads, going to the highest rated books, and then basically saying if those higher rated books are like books that are considered like favorites and things like that. Like seeing how accurate Goodreads really is and or basically seeing if you just fall into like the hype and things like that. So before I get started, I just want to say don't forget to join my channel membership. You can just join for $4.99. That's literally the price you would just press join if you already subscribed to me it should be right under the subscribed button if you're not subscribed to me then you should subscribe to me and then it'll be under the subscribe button i have like tbrs on there well i'm gonna have tbrs on there i update you guys on like what i'm reading how i'm feeling about the books i do want to do special reading vlogs i think i want to do a j city reading vlog and then also they do like eat my videos 24 hours early and then i have special videos that are just membership videos so check that out and let's get into the videos let me get on goodreads because you know goodreads loads extremely freaking slow i don't know how many of these i'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna do it until I get bored, honestly. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing and now it's reloading even freaking slower. So I'm at the average rating. So in the other videos, they told you like how many people like read those books and things like that. I am not gonna do that because I'm lazy and I'm also going to be skipping over some books like the problematic books. The first book on this list is a book that I just read and that is some kind of perfect. That is the Callaway Sisters book number five at a 4.7 rating. I gave this book three stars. I hate epilogues and romance books so an epilogue a whole book a whole romance book that's an epilogue is my literal worst nightmare so it was okay like I really oh they were having kids like oh then there's I'm trying to do like not pop okay Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption and that is 4.52 I gave that one a four star Oh, the average rating is 4.52 and I gave that one four stars pretty much on par with the like average rating of the book as a whole. The Name of the Wind, that one is a 4.52 as well and I also gave that one a four stars. I love The Name of the Wind. I had so much fun reading it and I was like really scared going into it and I really was not expecting it to have as much fun as I did but I, I really really did. I think that you should highly check it out. The Hate You Give, which is 4.5. I gave that one 5 stars, but I feel like everyone gave it 5 stars unless you're a racist. But there is Stranger Things uh, Worlds Turned Upside Down, which I forgot that I read. And that one is a 4.5 average rating. I gave it 5 stars. I loved it. Not really like a real book. Like it's not one of those like Stranger Things books where it's like, suspicious minds and things like that like this is literally just about the tv show and the characters and things like that and i think it deserved five stars simply for the presentation like this literally looks like an old library book and like i just like freaking love that it's just so cool like it's so cool this is like the best money i've ever um spent and then i have six of crows which unpopular opinion i gave up four stars but i actually think i should go back and give it three stars because i was not a huge fan um the average rating is 4.49 i actually thought that that book would have been higher everyone on booktube loves that book i thought it was just okay like i just i read this book before like this is one of the first books i've read when i joined booktube and i hate when people say this but i just did not get the hype like i'm just like oh like it's fine but also i'm not a character driven person so i and i discovered that after reading this book but early on in my booktube like career so maybe it's just me then there's a romance book darling venom and this one has 4.48 i didn't rate this book i originally rated it three stars but then i took the rating off because i just don't know how i feel about this book because this book is a romance book and it is about this girl who best friend have like this pack where they where he was gonna commit suicide and she was gonna commit suicide then they have this pack where they meet on where they were going to commit suicide on valentine's day which is her birthday every year and then one day he breaks that pack and he actually commits suicide so a few years after that she ends up running into his older brother who he like hated and he would like shit talk about and like she she hates him 
but then like a romance sparks between the two and he is a gynecologist and there's like a romance scene where he's doing things to her body while she's like in a gynecologist whatever getting her body getting her pap smear now i've never gotten a pap smear before but i've seen the tools that they use and that alone is is there's nothing sexual is there's nothing like sexy about the tools that they use it actually scares me it actually terrifies me i actually fear for my life so the fact that they tried to turn into like a sexy scene and the book was like 600 pages it was like way too long it did not need to be that long and like i didn't care about the couple then we have oh another controversial opinion the seven husbands of Eglin hugo which is an average rate of 4.48 i actually thought this would have been higher as well yeah i thought it was like okay um monique as a character was annoying a the plot twist I think was a bit um interesting for me. Oh, okay, let's do Mistborn, the Final Empire. That one has a 4.4. .4. I did also give that one four stars. I really liked Mistborn. Also on here is my giant nerd boyfriend, which are webtoons they both have 4.46 i didn't read them because i don't rate reptiles but i just wanted to point that out oh and then we have a game of thrones which is a song of ice and fire that one has 4.4 .4 ratings which if you are if you know me you know i'm a spiritual girl so angel numbers to me whenever i see angel numbers i'm almost like oh my gosh angel numbers no um i did not rate that oh i gave it three stars i have like two different editions that i rate it for some reason i have two copies on here but i've only read the book like once but i gave it three stars i really don't remember much of the book i actually do want to reread it so that i can watch the show and i do want to i do have all the books but i put them in my basement and they got damaged so i'm going to have to repurchase all the books but i want like i want to find like some covers like i love so i don't know if i want like the paperbacks because you know i'm a hardcover girl but or maybe i can find like some special edition dust jackets or something like that i don't know cutting in so i the video i have i filmed is literally like i think it's too short i don't like it so i want to do some more and i also want to like add more of how i feel about these books because i realized that i didn't so i want to like add on it's literally 4 a.m i had an eight hour nap i literally filmed the video edited a video for my membership came back on like literally was editing my video i was like i do if the video is seven minutes long i don't do videos under like 15 minutes there's only so many books i've read so many books i've read like 700 books so i feel like i have time like i have more than enough books to review so let me just get back into it because i just cannot leave you guys with a short video that is not me i talk way too much i think i was tired because I'm talking because good is loading. I think I was tired because I was already filming like three other videos and then my camera kept overheating and I can't I when my camera overheats I have to stop for like 10 to 15 minutes and that is like literally so frustrating. So I think I was just like really frustrated but like I still want to give you guys a good video so the show must go on. So I'm going to pick up where I left off. Okay. The next book I have, another unpopular opinion, is A Verity, which I gave two stars, and this book has a 4.43 rating. I did not like it, this book. I actually have a rant review on it. This book, it just was not that girl. She was not it. I don't know what everyone likes about it. This movie was literally like a lifetime script. Everyone's like, oh, is it like, like either people go into a thing that's a romance and they come out loving it because they're like oh this is a thriller or you know it's a thriller you go in there and you come out with more romance than you expected the latter is how i came out with it people are either team letter or team manuscript i think i was team i think i was team letter i can't remember but i just want to state that um because i remember i talked about it with katie colson i think i am team letter but <sighs> the book is just not that girl i don't understand what everyone likes about it i don't want to be mean but have you never read a good thriller i think that colin who should write more books like it ends with us like i thought that was a good book but like her other books are just not good to me like her romances are very bland um i noticed that like a lot of like the tiktok girlies will come like a lot of tiktok girls are people who haven't read in years whereas i have been reading since i came out the coochie i have been reading since i was in the second grade i the longest i went reading was this year when i went three years three months without reading that's as long as I've ever been reading. 
So I've already experienced my bad books. I've already experienced that in middle school with Wattpad. My Wattpad era was bad books. I've already experienced my terrible books. The girlies on TikTok have not. Like, they've stopped reading. They've they haven't read since they was in middle school. So when they get back on, they get back on to reading. They start reading books like Colleen Hoover, where her books aren't like terrible. They're just I've read so many better romance books. Like her romance books, they're they're not even like heart wrenching. Like they're just bland. And a lot of them have a problem, a lot of problematic aspects. Like one of her books is about a deaf guy, which that is really cool. But he cheats on his girlfriend with the main character, who also was cheated on. Like and then there was another book where these two characters found themselves. Like they found each other because they're part like the girl came home she had lunch for her boyfriend there was a guy sitting in her apartment he's like yeah my girlfriend's in there cheating with your boyfriend they fell in love literally the only the root of their relationship was the fact that they fell in love with each other based off of the fact that their partners were cheating on them and that was the root of their relationship and it wasn't even a good healthy relationship from the book i just don't understand what everyone's reading and what they like about the author and i'm not the kind of person who like shits on people and what they read and all those kind of things so i really doesn't hope it comes off as that or it doesn't come off as kind of sending but I am just not getting what the girls are loving about Colleen Hoover. I don't know. I have Empire of the Vampire, which is another 4.4 rating. I gave this book three stars. I was liking it in the beginning, but then I thought it was like very boring. And then I know that like Gabriel is based off Klaus from The Vampire Diaries, but he also was Jay Kristoff. Like you cannot tell me that Gabriel is not Jay Kristoff and Klaus. And also the guy who plays Klaus was like hyping this book up and all that stuff. And I was like, this actually, makes me it makes me very uncomfortable for some reason and it just read like fiction. and the book just got really really boring like everyone wants to write a 700 page book but nobody has the class to write a 700 page book you are not the name of the win okay you just will never give what the girl is gave okay the name of the win was that girl empire the vampire was purely okay like i just start to get bored i'm like okay like it's giving Jennifer I'm Trump and if you watch my channel you know I have a love-hate relationship with her and I feel like she does not need to be writing long books but that's just me oh and then we have it ends with us by Colin Hoover which has a 4.42 rating as well and I did enjoy that book I gave it four stars so it is on par I mean I've already had my Colin Hoover rant so I'm gonna leave the girl alone but yes the poet x by Elizabeth Azuedo this one has a 4.3 rating what are you guys doing raise it up Go read this book and rate it five stars. Actually, don't even read the book. Just rate it five stars. I rated this book five stars. When I remember when everyone was talking about this book, I was kind of starting to get out of the way. And I remember when I, everyone was talking about it, they were like, oh, it's written in like verse. And I was like, mm, how can that be good? I read this book at the most perfect time in my life. Like, I remember I was having like a really bad day, like at home. And so was my brother. So I wanted to like, make my brother happier. So we went outside and we sat under our big tree and we were just chilling like he was doing whatever i was reading and i listened to this book and it was so beautiful it was so much fun and elizabeth acevedo is an angel set from above and you should read her purely for that reason i'm trying not to do like series with this one but maybe first in books but not like complete series but first in books aren't that high rated i noticed like they're mostly like second third and you know so on and so on from Luke of love by maria zapata this one has a 4.3 rating i rated it four stars i really enjoyed it but not as much as everyone else same because my mom walked in but basically i thought from Luke of love was actually okay i think it was more so a 3.5 but i gave it four stars because i was falling inside now to be fair i read this book last year this year am i a lot more anal I'm more anal with my readings with my ratings so I don't just be giving books four stars because I think they do like if I like if I would have read this book today probably would have gave it just exactly three stars but last year I was very generous with my ratings so also if you see me on Goodreads changing some of my ratings that's because I feel like I was being too nice and I like my Goodreads rating to be three point between 3.2 and 3.4 so anyways love on the brain that has a it has a 4.3 rating excuse me i give this book three stars this book was okay like actually it was not it was not okay it was kind of terrible me things apple you don't have to put your butt in their face um so basically i did not like this book because i feel like excuse me ma'am
so I feel like this book was too focused on the science this book basically there is a character in this book I mean there's like this scientist that the main character is obsessed with and she has like this Twitter account where she is like talking like she's tweeting about like what would this uh, scientist do and I feel like the book was too heavily focused on that woman and the science and I came here for the romance if I want to read science I would read a science book I read it I know the author's thing is like women in STEM but just write a sci-fi book okay I came here for the romance I do not care about science okay I, I don't care I, I want to read two people one bed tropes okay I want to read he's secretly in love with her I mean which well, that was the plot I want to read smut I don't care about the science I if I didn't come here for the science so leave the science out of the book I mean I get it women in STEM yay and then we have, oh my gosh, Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas, 4.34. I rate this book five stars. I absolutely love this. I cried reading this book. It was so beautiful and amazing. And I am absolutely obsessed with the book. Do I own that book? I don't know if I own that book or not. And I feel like I should. I feel like I should be ashamed of myself if I don't own it. Reminder of Ash by Jennifer Armachal. Actually, I don't even know why I'm including this. Like, y'all know I love this book. Like, I have so many editions of this book. It, I gave it five stars. I read it twice. And this book has a 4.3 rating. Personally, I feel like it should be lower. Subjectively, it's not a good book. The romance was fun. I had It's a fun book to read. Is it a good book? No. Is it a fun book? Yes. Way too long. It should be like 300 pages shorter. It could have been split into like two books, to be honest. Half of the, literally the latter half of this book has second book syndrome. The second book has second book syndrome. The third book has second book syndrome. Actually, the second book was good. I'm lying. The third book has second book syndrome. I don't know what the third book was. Very terrible. Very terrified to read the fourth, fourth book. Not for the reason that everybody else is terrified to read it. Y'all are a bunch of babies. I'm excited for the fourth book. I just haven't gotten to it yet for some reason. Usually, like, I'm really good at getting at new releases the month they come out. But if I don't get to them the month they come out, then I'm not getting to it for a minute indigo ridge this one has a 4.2 rating i gave this book three stars i thought this book was extremely boring and i have read willa nash like i have read her before um debbie perry sorry willa nash is her pen name i have read debbie perry before but i you know read willa nash before i read debbie perry and first of all she read small town like books anyways like small town romances so i don't know why she made a pen name just to write more small town romances she could have just write them all under one name but whatever i digress um also i so like i said i read what is it called like the bribe it is quite literally indigo ridge but just under a different name like i felt like i read the same book twice and i think her romances are very boring i think that they bring nothing new to the table like it's just like like i thought the book was cool because it was like oh this guy and this girl like they are interested in each other and they like can't stay with each other but at a certain point it just got boring and then like that's when like the suspense came in came in but i didn't care about the suspense so it was just that i'm scared to read the second book because i don't care about children and books and everyone's like oh the second book is good the second book is good i don't care about children and books i don't care when like they have to raise a child it's mostly it's not even just, i love children it's mainly because of how authors write children because if they're teenagers they're extremely annoying because she will announce what a teenager before and like teenagers are annoying yes but it's not it's like what they think teenagers act like from an adult's view and it just was like it was just extremely they're just extremely annoying or they write like little kids and like the way they make the little kids talk is also really annoying like i feel like authors don't know how to write children obviously because they're writing about adults but i just don't like the way that authors write children that's why i don't like children in books i love children I love like even when books have kids it's just I don't like the way the authors write them okay we're gonna do like one last book okay Kings of the Wild the band series this has a 4.2 rating I give this one three stars I started this book and I thought it was like good I thought it was okay and then I like keep reading and I'm just like really bored like it was just so boring they just talk the entire time and it was just like adventures the entire time which like that's cool but it's like it wasn't even that funny like at least with the first large trilogy the blade itself that book was hilarious i thought that book was so funny joe amakrami is a literal comedian i really appreciate him as an author this book however was very bland and honestly i think the other girlies actually guys people who read this book 
also can see that this book was very boring because most of the people on booktube i've seen read it like they either love it or they gave it they thought it was like okay like but like i don't remember a lot of people reading this the sequel i think there might be a third book as well i don't remember but like i remember everyone reading kings of wow but like nobody really read i think i've seen like two people read bloody rose so it was like i think everyone else got the same feel that i was getting from this book but yeah in the video off with pretty um bookshelves pretty background Mayana because I hate when I have to film from this angle but whatever anyways that is it for this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to check out my channel membership and to leave a comment down below what's like the highest rated book on yours that like shocked you or one that you don't agree with or one that you do agree with or maybe all of them I don't know so yeah let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.